Hi everybody, my name is Ben Sellers, I'm the co-founder of Starberry and I want to show you today how you can get your virtual setup in place with two pieces of awesome software. Uh, the first one is what I'm using right now to record this, it's called Zoom, I'm sure some of you have used it. Uh, and the second one is an appointment software called Calendarly, um, which I have to say has completely transformed the way I operate. Uh, in the last year, I've probably booked 300 appointments through it and uh, without any use of a PA or anything like that. And I've never had any issue of anyone getting on it. The beauty of those two combined is that um, you can then just send your calendar get people to pick a date and a time that suits them and it automatically gem generates a Zoom meeting that they can just jump on from their mobile, from their iPad or from their desktop. I have to say my preference is people joining from their iPhone or their smartphone or their iPad because you just then don't have any issues with audio or video working because those always work. But anyway, let me kick in. I'm going to show you how I do this. So this is one of the great benefits of uh, Zoom immediately is that you can share screen. So the first thing you want to do is go to zoom.us. Um, you literally put your work email in this uh, field here uh, like this. This is not my work email and you sign up. You press that button. Um, it immediately will ask you to confirm if you haven't done this before. It'll send you an email um, to your email so that you activate it, you activate that account, um, and then you're all good to go. You pop in your name in these fields. Um, you create a password, which I will put in. Normally a capital letter. And then bam, that's my new Zoom meeting ID. I don't do it, need to do anything else with that at all. Uh, the next um, piece of software that I want to get you fired up on is Calendarly. And as you'll see from this blog on their website, that um, due to the coronavirus, they've managed to make the integration uh, with Calendarly and Zoom um, free until June at least, uh, maybe longer. So what you want to do is go to calendarly.com and again you want to put in your uh, email address and this will recognize if you're on uh, um, Office 365 uh, the moment that you do this it will actually show the Office 365 logo there so you just agree sign in so now I'm in here what it asked me to do is to allow uh, Calendarly to connect with my email so I allow and then you pick your name um, so I can pick Ben hyphen sellers in this instance you can put whatever you want here and then you continue and then it's all set up and integrated with my calendar and it automatically defaults to these dates so you these times so you can set your availability up separately um, you might say actually I want my first meeting to be at 8 and I'm quite happy for it to go to 6 p.m. in the evening and then you can do different things different days of the week so you hit continue I typically check sales and marketing here and then it defaults to three different types of events a 15 minute 30 minute and 60 minute um, and it offers you this different option here to create new event type might be a recruitment event or a virtual viewing event or whatever you want to call it but in reality there's a little blue button here that you can do that with. So then what you want to do is you want to click uh, integrations at the top before you do anything else. So you hit inter integrations, you go to Zoom, you connect your Zoom, but you have to pre-approve and you authorize. And then it asks you to go to um, uh, your uh, different event types and go to location and pick zoom so you go back so you go to your event types you go under the cogs here so I'll just do this 15 minute this is the process I go to go through so I go what is uh, what event is this I click on this I put the word zoom in here but you could put uh, 15 minute you know video vi meeting or virtual meeting whatever you want 
go under here, you pick zoom here, you can leave everything else in here. If you wanted to put some special notes in here, such as, you know, you can download the Zoom app from the App Store or Google Play as a little extra sort of note that would come with a meeting, but you don't need to do that right now. You save and close that. The next most important thing I would suggest doing is you can either create your specific availability. This says the duration of the meeting is a 15 minute. You can put your buffers in. So one of the most important things is your buffer. So I like to have a 15 minute buffer after an event so that if I'm running over, um, I know that I've got 15 minute extra. And then you show your time increments and scheduling conditions. Set the minimum amount of notice that people that, that is required and how many events are allowed per day. So I just like to say, I'm quite happy to have meetings two hours before automatically detects time zone so that's all good so then i save that the next important thing is in invitee questions uh, under additional options you automatically have a name and email address uh, picked but i always recommend one extra which is what is the best number to call you on uh, check required so that if people are having issues connecting for one reason or other you've got that question there you can write whatever you want obviously um, and you save that then uh, the last one I recommend you tick is under notifications um, most people get these anyway in their calendars if they connect it but if for some reason these people don't connect the appointment to their calendars when they're offered it uh, if you turn that on the email a rem reminder, they'll get a reminder uh, just before their appointment. There's a few other things you can customize in here, but I'll let you play around with that nearer the time. So I save that. And the last thing I always think that it's worth doing is going up to um, account settings. You can upload your picture. So typically this a picture from wherever it is and you would drop that in straight in there. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, you can also put your branding in here and under here it shows you what your personal link is and you can update that if you wanted to change that at a later date and you're all done. So then you can go back to home and you want to see what this is going to look like. You've got your personal link here that would normally have your picture in it. You can click on this. This is what people will see. Um, you can pick an appointment in the diary. So I'm going to pick Monday. This is exactly what your customers will be seeing. So I'm going to pick nine o'clock on Monday. I'm going to confirm that. I'll put Ben two in here and I'll put Ben. Um, and I can say hi. I don't need to put anything there. And I put my number and I schedule that event. That is now all scheduled. That will have taken it out of my uh, calendar. And then if I go to my Gmail, um, there is the event all set up. There is the Zoom link all ready to go, the note and the person's uh, phone number in the event that you want to have that phone number sorted. So in essence, that is it. You guys are set up. You can do this for every single one of your employees. Um, and you can start doing uh, virtual valuations and virtual viewings. So I think that that will really prove to be um, invaluable, both in this time of lockdown, um, but also uh, thereafter. I don't see you guys going back. I see you doing this um, for good going forward. It's a fantastic way of engaging. Obviously, I encourage everyone in our team always has their video on and even if the customer doesn't want to.